quite a lot's been going on and um, we've seen a wave of arrests uh, I'm sure many of you have seen those arrests all over social media uh, of course we're back to social media social media being used to um, disseminate information um, in the wake we have seen people arrested there was a story earlier on uh, if you go to my instagram page unfortunately i i, I cannot um paste a video or um a picture on radio so the best i can do is refer you to a, a video on my social media handle where some of our youths were seen um arrested and here's what the story said Lego, uh, from Lagos State Secretariat, Alausa. Those that robbed and committed arson at ShopRite, Lecky, Obas Palace, um, vandalized the BRT buses, and attacked police officers have all been arrested. It says all been arrested. Uh, the arrest was made possible by the technology deployed, including CCTV and cell phone tower pinging, a process where the network service provider gives information to police about all the mobile phones inside ShopRite using the time frame uh, the looting occurred as provided by the security pictures of the cell, uh, cell phone towers and mobile numbers uh, that pinged on the cell tower were handed over to the police and their images matched on the CCTV footage. So, this seems to be a very wonderful way of actually arresting people. The problem is, can they also use this way to identify um, those ones that opened fire at the toll? Just a suggestion, since this method is so... Look at, in how many days they don't carry people away... All the people who scatter over palace, they don't catch all. All the way scatter and loot, they've caught all. Okay, no problem. What about the ones that uh, on, on, on that Tuesday night, the ones that did kekem? How come cell phone pinging and CCT? They know, those people did not have phone. I'm just asking because, okay, uh, let me not say much because anyway, this is the aftermath. Uh, and also another thing I wanted to talk about in the aftermath, which is really, really important, is the BRT buses. Queues everywhere. Bus fare increased. Oh, really? Oh, yes, to a thousand naira. What? For, for some routes that usually wow. were about... Let, let, me, let me show you what what the story said uh because a young man i know posted on his page so he said his name is anthony coupe he said Ojo Elegba to cms 1000 naira agigi to oshodi 500 naira ikeja to alausa 400 naira so their bus fare hikes and their also long queues people queuing and, and and here's here's what i consider an own goal because the people you are fighting against don't enter brt buses i hope you know ada yeah the people who you are protesting about don't enter brt buses they are air-conditioned and bulletproof Range Rovers and Lexuses and Toyota Prados are all working fine. But the BRT buses that your fellows are using in an already COVID-ravaged Nigeria are now affected. Um, lots of job loss. You and I were talking about job losses earlier on, Ada. Um, in all this, no politician has lost his job. Has any politician lost their job? Uh, 
Ada, so far. Mm. They're still doing their work. They're still there. They're still fine. So, there's so many things we need to think and rethink. Uh, as time goes on, the aftermath should also serve to open our eyes to so many things going on. So, um, somebody saying they didn't catch a fly. I, I think you actually need to check the news. They're, they're pictures all over the place and they did catch people they did catch people uh, and in the aftermath with what we're seeing there's a question i would love to ask and the question is what is the way forward we all need to know and keep that at the back of our minds okay so um Ada, let's take a couple of phone calls Yes, Taiwo, we can hear you, sir. Okay, thank you for that. We're moving on to the new topic now. What is the aftermath? Um, after everything that's happened, what is the way forward? Let's, we, we've, we've dealt with fake news for two days now and um, the supposed restrictions on social media. The question now is, what is the way forward in the aftermath? Quite a few people have been arrested for um, vandalization and arson and all those things. Also, another thing is, businesses are open now and people have seen their losses, uh, lots of unemployment and more unemployment looming. And then the huge crew... Uh, queues and price hikes at the brt uh, uh bus stops um, so let's discuss the aftermath so please guys stick to the topic we don't have too much time uh let's just make this work okay hello hello yes hello uh,
evening. Okay. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? I don't understand what his point is because whether you like it or not, social media was pivotal um, in the, the last few weeks. Good and bad, uh, a lot leaned on the power of social media. So for him to say social media is not important, I don't understand how some people reason. Abiada, is, am I the one that is... I honestly don't, for you to even say social media is not, for, first of all, for the government to be raising eyebrows on social media at this point, you should know that social media is a major issue right now. No. So unless, Why pushing it now? unless maybe he is, this particular guy who called is using a Nokia 3310 uh, or he's using a phone that doesn't have internet or a camera i don't see why he doesn't see the power of social media and how social media can be used to fund both the negative and the positive so uh the con the question is is social media social media is number one because everything we know let me ask you guys a question how much of the information you gathered was gathered from mainstream media like newspapers and television? How much of the information you have? I'll probably put it at 20%. The remaining 80 to 90% came from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, especially WhatsApp. And my problem with WhatsApp is they like to, people like to circulate a lot of fake stuff on WhatsApp. So y'all need to be careful. Uh, but you understand what I'm talking about. So yeah. if social media was this pivotal, this important with regards to the dissemination of information, um, how did Files message get across to you? Was it on the radio? 
was it on tv did he go to channels and have an interview or did did he go to um a tv station and have an interview did cnn as big as they are not even come in at the towards the tail end of everything so uh, mainstream media i'll give it 20 percent um or what is your take how much information do you think was gotten from mainstream media put a percentage to it and let's see if discussing about social media in the wake in the aftermath of what's going on is really important so guys out there um just when you're calling or uh, if you're watching us live on social media just tell us according to your estimation how much what percentage do you think of information came to you from mainstream media that is newspapers uh radio and television with regards to social media so um okay. we could take a couple of calls at that or do you want to contribute a lot of people are, are saying 10 percent, 5 percent, 2 percent what is your take okay um i think it's it's media is very vital and with everything that has been ongoing I think I've been getting most of let me say 90% of all my information on social media I can't even lie about that even we that come to talk on the radio where do you think we get our information from exactly so I still go back to the question why are they fighting it so hard you saw Lewis Hamilton oh mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton was tweeting about NSAS. I'm sure he tweeted on Channels TV or Cool FM or Nigeria Info. No, he didn't. It was all social media. How do you think that the very day um, there was a broadcast live on Tuesday and P. Diddy was watching? Do you think P. Diddy watch our local uh, NTA? Hmm. I'm just asking. We had Hillary Clinton talk about what was happening in Nigeria. Where did she find out? Where do you think Hillary Clinton found out from? BCOS Ibado. So, so let's, 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 uh, it is painful when a caller would call and say social media is not the problem. Social, social media is in the middle of the problem. Now, if you call and say it is bad, it's different. Or if you call and say it is good, but that you say social media is not in the mix. Ah, I disagree because that means Hillary Clinton, Lewis Hamilton, P. Diddy and co. were all watching NTA and reacting to what they saw there. So, um, a lot of people are saying... 80% to 90% is coming from social media and mainstream media contributed 5 to 10%. I think I'm fine with that number. Let's take a couple of calls and round this off. All right, 0700-993-993-993. Hello? Hello? Hello, Father is to understand when a child is right for a 
All right, one more call, and then we're out okay. of um... the studio. Yes. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Okay, um, I think that's as far as we can go. My um, beautiful Adele B, a.k.a. Omoeleko Motoleko. Yes, absolutely so. A wonderful and amazing time it has been. Uh, we'll continue broadcasting on the radio and on social media as well, letting you know what um, the aftermath is looking like, God willing. And we also pray uh, that Nigeria does find its footing and um, we hope that we're able to turn things around for the better. Um, thank you so much for listening to us. Our show is called Live and Dangerous, 10 p.m. to midnight every single weekday except Fridays on 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station that actually feeds you the information. You saw so many Nigeria Info clips on social media um, from Sheriff's show, from Joyce's show, um, they were all on social media, and uh, although they were circulated via social media, we try as hard as possible to give you first-hand information. So if you're looking for a mainstream media that gives first-hand information, you should go no further than 99.3 Nigeria Info. And when you get there, ask for a certain girl called Ada Omweleko Blessing. She handles relationship stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be laughing. Okay, thank you so much, Daddy. We to have an amazing night rest. Let's. Uh, I wanted to say let's talk, but you're going, so I'll do the talking alone. Yeah, so you'll be doing your talking on day. chat station. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Good night, Daddy. Free. Good night. And enjoy your social media. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Um, love you guys loads and hope to see you tomorrow, God willing, when we'll be talking about something equally interesting. Take care and God bless you all.